welcome back to our channel i'm gonna do this short video on how to do faux german schmear on the brick paneling i always get asked about it and i'm finally putting together a video so if you're interested just keep watching i'll show you all the supplies that i use to do it and then i'll do a separate video for this office transformation Funny story, I had just had Christian renovate this space into a salon room and then this was a big storage room just a couple months prior, so he was really a good sport about this given the circumstances. These are all the supplies that I used. I did already have a jigsaw and I had the pass load, thanks dad. <laughs> it's amazing if you're doing a lot of finishing work by the way. And then I used that all purpose joint compound. The color does vary from brand to brand. So just, I use that one to be safe. And then the red brick veneer, that is from Lowe's. They do have different panels if you go to like Home Depot or other hardware stores, but I liked the color of these ones specifically. And then just a knife for your joint compound. What's really cool about the brick panels is they just cover so much space and go up so quickly. So I just adhered them to the wall with the finish nailer. Make sure that you're hitting studs and they're secure, of course. And then the couple areas that I had to cut around, I just use a jigsaw. It is helpful if you take the brick sheets, flip them upside down, and then you are actually cutting on the backside of it so that like the jagged bricks don't throw you off when you're using the jigsaw. And now for the fun part, I will warn you, this is a lot of tedious work. It was a lot bigger project than I anticipated as far as German smearing that huge wall, but um, I didn't really know how else to explain it. So here is a video of me just doing it. And the only way I can really explain it is that I would stand back from the wall and kind of get a visual for areas that I felt like were getting like too heavy with the white and I would want some bricks to pop out. Um, obviously with your seams, they're really noticeable. So I tried to kind of like, you already have that line in your seams and I tried to just, after it was done, you can always go back and add more to other areas to make it not so conspicuous. But I didn't really know how else to explain it other than just, I went with what I felt like. So have fun doing it. If you feel like certain areas have too much, you can always take a damp cloth at the time and wipe some of it off and vice versa. I just think that it looks a lot better than wallpaper because there's no, you know, continual pattern with it. So just have fun, stand back and look at it. And you can always take a picture at the end of this and kind of see the spots that I was talking about that I kept adding to afterwards. So here's the mostly finished product. I had vision of having a lot of copper down here and I painted that wall copper and it just didn't work out. So I repainted it black here. Um, I did add these shelves, they're industrial shelves. They're really easy to do and I'll do a full tutorial on those and the whole office. That fireplace is a marketplace find and I repainted it. I always get asked about the German schmear so I wanted to just make this video short and just about that but keep following along and subscribe if you care about the other stuff and the full office reno and all my craziness of designing and decorating in the shiplap and just let me know what you guys want to see so I can make this channel something that's helpful to you guys. I had intentions of taking really good pictures of the wall bare before shelves and before they were stocked with product, but my daughter was so excited about unboxing everything and putting it up there, I just couldn't let her down. So sorry about that, but I think you get the idea. I had posted a lot when I was doing this on Instagram and Facebook because I did this room, our playroom, and then the entertaining space out of the basement, like the pool table and all that stuff. 
and I really appreciate you guys' feedback. I posted a ton of polls, so thank you so much for helping make these decisions. I have gotten asked a lot on there how much it costs to do this full wall. I will say that we already had all the tools, but for the four sheets of brick veneer and all the stuff to it, it probably only cost about $150, not counting the shelves. So I'll walk through all that stuff at a later time. I'll walk you through the playroom and the outer room and my cool little sitting nook that my friends would make fun of me for, but they're obviously just jealous. Um, but thank you guys so much for all of the support. If you like this, please make sure to subscribe and share, leave your feedback on what I can share more of to help you and happy projects to you. Have a great day. Thanks for watching.